Good day everyone! Welcome to the world of arts! Have you ever realized that we are surrounded by different contemporary arts? When you go to your kitchen and eat breakfast, you see an art. Whenever you watch movies and listen to music, you are dealing with different contemporary arts. In today's episode, come and join me to discover different contemporary art forms produced by different artists from our own culture and traditions as well as contemporary practices from various regions. Welcome to Samba TV! I'm Sir Paul, your curator for today's episode. At the end of this episode, you are expected to obtain the following objectives. First, define contemporary art. Second, describe the contemporary art forms in the Philippines. And lastly, evaluate examples of contemporary Philippine arts. Let's start discovering the different contemporary arts. Are you ready? Let's go! What are contemporary arts? In general, the term contemporary art is usually used in the sense of it being the art of the present. Contemporary art is the art of today, produced by artists who are living in our time. It provides opportunities to reflect on society and the issues that are important to us and the world. It is part of a cultural dialogue that concerns larger contextual frameworks such as identity, family, community, and nationality. There are seven major contemporary art forms in the Philippines, which we will categorize into arts. The first part is the contemporary visual arts, and the second part is the contemporary performing arts and literature. Contemporary visual arts include visual arts and architecture. Under contemporary performing arts and literature includes literature, music, dance, theater, and film. Let's start with the contemporary visual arts. The visual arts are art forms that create works that are primarily visual in nature such as ceramics, drawing, painting, sculpture, printmaking, design, craft, photography, video, filmmaking, and architecture. Also included within the visual arts are the applied arts such as industrial design, graphic design, fashion design, interior design, and decorative art. Painting and sculpture are considered as two basic forms of visual arts. Painting is described as the process of applying color on a flat surface. Forms can be created using a wide variety of materials such as watercolor, acrylic, ink, oil, pastel, and charcoal. Surfaces for painting include wood, canvas, cardboard, and paper. It is considered as two-dimensional because it only has height and width. Pork eating kong done in 2009 by Pablo Baen Santos is one of the example of contemporary painting. Santos believes that art is an exposition of the true condition of the society. Sculpture This form of visual art has three dimensions. It has height, width, and depth. 
it is created by either carving, modeling, or assembling parts together. This is an example of Philippine sculpture named Kinupot by Edgar Fernandez. The artwork's title combines two Filipino words, Kinuha, which means gut, and Sinupot means bag, referring to the abductions of political activists by the military during the time of martial law. The next form is architecture. This form of art is considered to be one of the most functional branches of visual arts. This involves designing the form of a building while allowing the building to serve its function. It is considered to be the art to inhabit. The cultural center of the Philippines also known as CCP, the premier bureaucratic entity through which art acquisition, exhibition making, workshops, grants, and awards were implemented. Another form of contemporary art is music. This is an art form that appeals to the sense of hearing composed by combining notes into harmony. It is considered as the least tangible of the arts. Mr. Ryan Kayabyab is one of the most famous composers of contemporary music in the Philippines. Some of great original Filipino music by Ryan Kayabyab includes Tuwing Umuulan, at kapiling ka? Iduyan mo kahit ikay panaginip lang? Paraisong parisukat? Tunay na ligaya? And many more. The next form of contemporary art is literature. It is considered to be a whole bulk of written works. It means a body of works that show the best that has been taught and said, or works that signify the highest achievements of a particular culture. The Flowers of May, written by Francisco Arcelliana, is an example of a literature. It is about how life can be turned into a charnel house, a great city into a dark necropolis. This is a world-class short story. Another form of contemporary art is theater. The term theater refers to an art form that involves performing carefully planned actions and emotions in front of an audience. Dramatic text is portrayed on stage by actors and actresses and are enhanced by props, lights, and sounds. It is also a form of art in which artists use their voices and their bodies, often in relation to other objects, to convey artistic expression. Gantimpala Theaters Musical Katipunan, Mga Anak ng Bayan, Stage in Honor of Andres Bonifacio Seski Centennial, First Made the Rounds of the Gupan, Tarlac, Pampanga, Laguna, and Bulacan, and was seen by 100,000 audience members. Directed by Joel Lamangan and June Pablo. Film is also a form of contemporary art. This form of art refers to a sequence of moving pictures, which is typically shown on television or in a cinema. Filmmaking became an industry in the Philippines during the 1950s. And year 1970s, 
was considered to be a remarkable era in the history of cinema in the Philippines. Maynila sa mga kuko ng liwanag, directed by Lino Broca. When the Philippines was placed under martial law in 1972, films were used as propaganda vehicles and Ferdinand Marcos created the Board of Censors for motion pictures. And last form but definitely not the least is dance. This is an art form involving a series of rhythmic human movements that are purposefully selected. Dance involves a mindful effort to combine movements spatially, dynamically, rhythmically, and artfully in order for these movements to flow together. Several contemporary pieces for Bali Philippines such as Maniera, for International Dance Day 2015, and Dance in You for Hugot Sarosas was choreographed by Bonifacio Guerrero Jr., a finalist at the 7th Wi-Fi Body Independent Contemporary Dance Festival in 2014. Based on the lesson, there are different forms of contemporary arts. Name as follows. Visual arts such as painting, sculpture, and architecture. We also have the performing arts such as music, literature, theater, film, and dance. And now you have the knowledge of those different art forms. Let's do some exercises. Are you ready? Let's start. On your answer sheet, identify the following contemporary art forms. Very good! It shows that you understand the different forms of contemporary arts. Okay, so let's proceed to our next activity. I will be showing pictures and you have to identify which contemporary art forms each of them belongs to. You also have to explain your answer. Let's begin.
Congratulations! It shows that you fully understand the different forms of contemporary arts. Complete the following phrases to summarize what you had learned on this lesson. Contemporary art is... There are seven contemporary art forms, namely... What did you learn about contemporary arts in today's episode? As part of the youth, how will you give value, importance, or appreciation to the contemporary arts of our nation or country? That's right! As our country's youth, we must continue giving importance to our contemporary arts, which reflect the culture of our nation. In preparation to the next episode, conduct an advanced research or study about the history of Philippine art. Let's see each other once again to the next episode of Samba TV! Till then, goodbye!